Another team that blends so well together that I'm so glad that to, that to see them back on TV is the Young Bucks, man. I don't have my dangly in. Oh, man. Go even, get though, it. No, even though I'm a team baby face all the way, Young Bucks, man, I'm all for some cold spraying kisses, man. I love me some cold spraying kisses, and we got a lot of that uh, tonight. And these guys are the best in the – you know, they're proving why they're the best in the world because they can go with yeah. anybody. You know, on paper – you're like, okay, these guys just feuded with Jurassic Express and, you know, Chuck Taylor and Rocky Romero, you know, they can go in the ring, but it's like, okay, you know, where's this match going? The big picture of what we saw today with Sue and the returning of Trent was just had me all, I was eating this out of the, eating this out of the bowl, just asking for seconds because Trent looked like a million bucks, but man, this, this match, man, the young bucks were just toying with them all they all match, man. They are just, yeah. you know, I love their showboating, their constant showboating. You know, Adam Cole getting involved, the Stooge Cutler getting involved with the cold, cold spray. Uh, but just this whole match, it was just like a Young Bucks clinic, in my opinion. Yeah, this was a, a typical Young Bucks are are yeah. just toying with their opponent, uh, being jerk heels match. I loved it. And, and I think Adam Cole adds a whole nother dynamic uh, to these guys, which is really fun. I think that he... Uh, they have a lot of fun when he's out there. They they're yeah. uh, they have they do different stuff. I like that they're able to kind of morph and do some different things. They I want to see more trios matches with these guys. Yeah. I think that they would have even more fun in the ring doing trio stuff. But obviously the big moment was Trent coming back. Yeah. And uh, that was epic, and he looks great, and he looks healthy. Um. So that's fantastic. You know that a lot of people returning uh from health scares this week, you know, having the Bucks both come back after mm-hmm. just absolutely destroying their bodies for our our enjoyment and then yep. uh having Trent come back after that scary spinal injury he had. Um it's just awesome <laughs> and yeah, he does look like he's he's like if Miro and um Moxley Moxley had a kid. <laughs> that's that's Trent. <laughs> um oh, that'd be great. They just play that storyline up. That'd be the, the weirdo. I had to do a double take. <clears throat> I had to do a double take when I saw Trent come out because I was like, wait, because I'm so used to him with long hair and, you know, he slimmed down maybe a little bit. And But he looked, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, he looks like such a badass. Uh, I love this part. And to me, you know, this feud wasn't really going anywhere for me at all quickly. Um, but now that, yeah, Miro and Blade had a kid. But now that Trent's return, and this is <laughs> this is the, this is the kind of the same thing that happened before with the the last feud with with the best friends and Miro yeah. and Kip Sabian. As soon as Trent returned, it made it that much more relevant for me, you know, because it was getting so stale. Like this, this to me was like a feud out of nowhere. Um, and then now that Trent's back, I'm excited to see the original best friends versus the you know the super click party trios and and kind of yeah. trading stuff like that. So we know Trent is a workhorse. Um, so I'm, I'm all for this feud right now. I, I think it's going to work. Yeah, me, the time too, being. Uh, me too, man. I, I think that Trent, Trent coming back is massive. Not, not to take anything away from, you know, Wheeler Yuta or anything. Sure. But I think that, uh, there was obviously a, you know, a dynamic that they had, uh, as that trios team. Um, and I think that that's, that's what we want. We want to see that dynamic there. It just kind of felt like they're throwing Wheeler Yuta to the wolves. Like, okay, he's going to be your new third guy. Right. Um, and now it's kind of come back, all come back full circle and have their original team back. And maybe we'll see some, you know, some four fetal four way matches and four, you know, that'd be great. Just yeah. see some cool stuff. Um, I like that now they have some options for their squad as well. You know, if, you it's know, growing. hopefully nobody gets hurt again. Uh, Cause it, you know, obviously Trent comes back from an injury then immediately gets hurt again. So yeah, uh, hopefully no, that. no injuries happen. Um, but at least now, you know, there are more numbers. There's not going to have to be that weird insertion into storylines anymore. Um, it's a bigger squad and we'll see, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm stoked about it. I can't wait to see Trent back in the ring uh, in a real match. It's going to be great. I love that AEW gives, gives the people what they want in their hometown, you know, yeah. We saw the surprise debut with Trent. Obviously, the given you know the MJF rub, uh, the acclaim John Silver main event meet man. Um, so I think that's obviously kind of booking one hundred and one. But I just yeah. I eat I eat eat that up, man. I, I'm all for a sucker. I'm all for a happy ending. You know I can't stand movies that don't have like full you know closure movies or sad endings. I like. So happy you love endings. the mist, is what you're saying? <laughs> yes, you love the mist, the best ending ever. The mist. <laughs> So uh, I'm props props to AEW for doing that. I'm all for that. 